Hello there. My name is Nikki Jones. We've got a couple petitions that I'm actually circulating in this area. We're at the um, Cal State University East Bay. Basically, the Jerry Brown Initiative and the Millionaire's Tax, we've combined those two initiatives into one to, number one, bring more funding for schools. What's important to me is to make sure that our children, the future, are educated. Our public schools, two weeks ago, they had to lay off statewide 20,000 teachers. And it doesn't make sense to me why we have to lay off our teachers. That means we have to crowd more students into classrooms in front of one teacher. We just have to make sure that our kids are actually gonna have the dedicated time that they need. What's important is that the tools for our education are updated. I wanna make sure that we have money available to pay, number one, these teachers' salaries instead of having to pink slip them every spring. Two, I wanna make sure that from county to county in the Bay Area, just for an example, I wanna make sure that Alameda has the proper tools and you know updated books to teach our kids. Compared to Santa Clara County, um, what I learned in middle school compared to what I learned in high school in Alameda, there's, there's literally a five or six year difference there and it, it doesn't make any sense to me why, be, why the Santa Clara County can have more money and better education than those in Alameda and Contra Costa and other counties. It just doesn't make sense to me. We're trying to increase the personal income tax of those who make over 250,000 annually a year. It obviously is gonna range on how much they make, and that money is gonna go straight to our K-12 and community colleges. 89% of that money is going to go to the K-12 schools, and 11% is gonna to go to our community colleges. Now, we're also planning to increase the sales and use tax by just a quarter of a cent, temporarily for four years. That is also gonna help with public safety issues in the area. For example, we have to, get rid of the CHPs or CHIPS as they're called. These individuals are taking away the jobs and positions that should be available to our local police officers. And so this money is gonna help with that as well. I'm 24 years old, you know, I'm born and raised in the Bay Area, and just to see the differences and just to see how our money and our tax money specifically is not being spent the way it should be, it's upsetting. And I know for a fact that a lot of places, they teach, they're, they're teaching our children to grow up and to just go work into this blue collar world. The thing is, the key is education and making sure that our kids know that they can actually do something with themselves and not just go work for another. We want to make sure that the kids are educated well enough to be able to think individually and independently. That is the key.